I'm gonna shoot this over to you and then you can flip it. <laughs> Sweet rig though, man. Say something real quick. Test, test, test. Good, good, good. What is living the dream to you? I know, it's a deep question, right? Yeah. Uh, I have to remind myself that, yes, you know, I guess I am. I am living my dream, but it's not like I, I think about that every day. I have to remind myself that, oh yeah, this is uh, kind of the dream. It's not the only dream. I guess I keep on drink, thinking of the, the dream behind that dream. And you forget that you're already in at least one of them. dreams evolve and change and in a lot of ways the things that I want are a lot simpler than they used to be. Only when I think about 19 year old me does it make me realize and become appreciative that right now as difficult as things are I would tell you 20 years ago that, that this I am living my dream right now or rather I am living the dream of 19 year old me that version could only imagine this being a remote possibility The needle is always moving. And you know, I wanted to drop Flash, I wanted to to get to work on Batman and, and Justice League and Superman. And here's the thing, I, I got to do all of those and it was extremely rewarding and they're massive highlights of my career. But the highest your your endorphins will rise is in the pursuit of trying to get those projects. It's kind of this rat race, I, I suppose. One of the most important things that I've learned this week, and I didn't learn it until last night, this is a weird comparison to look at approaching a page and coming into the studio and tackling a piece of artwork, like heading into a battlefield that is a completely asinine comparison, but it's the best analogy I can think of. And every day when I come in, I know what page I'm supposed to work on. It's similar to you enter a battlefield, you know you're supposed to win. How you win that battle is by preparing the day before or weeks before or months before. I have this thing where I don't want to start something unless I can finish it that same day. I find it really difficult to do. That's because I was entering a mind frame of this needs to be done today. There, there's two types of thinking when it comes to art. There's the thinking aspect and then there's what I believe is the instinctual aspect. The thinking aspect is the layouts, the, the thumbnails, the, the penciling, and 
The instinctual aspect is when I'm doing a refined pencils and doing my inks. And this is a long way for me to say that last night after I set up the Surface Laptop Studio, it is so planning things out and approaching the day with a head start. I think that's, that's what it is. By preparing the night before, it makes today run a lot smoother. I feel like an educated person would have come to this conclusion a lot quicker than I have. I woke up this morning and put on a colorful it as well. So that will bring me to about basically a page a day, pencils and inks. If I can finish both of these today, that will bring me exactly to a page a day for pencils and inks with the bonus fact that on day one, I finished coloring page one. So I worked the... Uh... So some of the pages that I worked on on the weekend, it's still syncing in the background, waiting for everything to upload. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but... Trying to keep this balance of being grateful of the current moment, but at the same time laying down the foundation. It's like building a house. You know, you're you're building things slowly, brick by brick. And that's how my career has felt, is slowly building this thing. And then once you build this house, now suddenly you want to move. <laughs> so that's kind of the, the, the difficult thing is is Accomplishing something is, is very satisfying, but as soon as you do, that goalpost of what your dream is has now moved into a, a completely different thing. And now you have this new thing to pursue. And in a lot of ways, that's a good thing because it feels, it, to me, it feels like having a motivation and a drive really is what propels you forward. But at, at the same time, I, I guess maybe Maybe it's about enjoying the process and less about accomplishing something. I, I, you know what it is? Maybe accomplishments are, are just a byproduct of you enjoying the process and the destination is just a byproduct of you enjoying the, the journey. So I had this dream last night and in this dream, I'm my current age, but my dad was there and he was in his office kind of hunched over a typewriter typing away. Just for context, my, my dad, um, he used to be a writer and he wrote for the radio. I think he started in working, writing stuff with radio and then he started writing stuff for TV and movies, and I think he even directed a couple times. A lot of my earliest memories of him was kind of being hunched over that, that typewriter and tapping away, and in the background, he would be watching 
know, would be just constantly playing is, is the PBA, which is the Filipino Basketball Association. And then I would just hear tap, 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 tap. And he was kind of, he just, just hunched over. He just looked tired. And he said something to the effect of um, that there's never, there's never enough time or when's it my turn or, or, or something like that. And, you know, dreams are weird, right? There's no transition from one scene to another. Uh, so then I, I, I walk into my bedroom and I see him there kind of hugging my, my daughters. And, you know, it, it was weird because it's the, it was all a dream, but it it's kind of strange to have my, my dad visit us in my dream and, and meet his granddaughters. Um, so anyways, uh, I just, I just wanted to, to say this out loud cause I, I, I didn't, I didn't want to forget about it. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm no psychiatrist or psychologist or whatever. I would assume that this dream kind of had to do with, um, you know, guilt over working on the weekends and to learn the lessons that he had to realize what's important. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe that's the answer. Maybe the, the answer is to just... <laughs> well, Sweet break though, right? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. This is the dream, but it's, you know what it is? Yeah, I got something to say. The dream is really vast, right? And it does like the dream has changed. But as I get within the circle of this dream, that I get a clearer idea of what I want. I don't want to be anywhere else, but I don't want all this. I want to constrict a little bit, be more focused uh, with with what I how I'd like to spend my time. Yeah, I just want to work less. <laughs> yeah. I want to work less, and I want to not worry about making, you know paying the bills and stuff like that, and and uh, to see the world. Do you think the lack of grandness of the dream is the fact that we're getting older and we're like tempering our expectations. I don't think so. I don't I actually I think that's wiser because I don't think there's anybody in the world that said, man, now that I've achieved all this material goods, I found that the key to happiness is material goods. <laughs> like, I don't think that's ever happened, right? Like, I no. think you get this high. That's, yeah. And that's also like, that's a luxury too. Like, it's a, it's a work in progress. You said the same thing? No, you know what this series is called? Work in progress. You know, I, <laughs> I I was watching this office and I think in the final episode or something, and he said, I'm paraphrasing, but it's something to the effect of, I wish I knew it was the good old days at the moment it was happening. One day I'm gonna look at this deadline, I'm gonna look at making these videos and I'm gonna look at the entire process, uh, I'll say, man, I I was living the dream back then, but more importantly, I'd like to be able to say, and in that moment, that I am also living the dream back then. Kimball, try.